Okay, guys, so I've got a hold of a a, a cool little mock-up that a uh, friend of Fresh Baked made, Robert Holtz, Patreon supporter and friend of Fresh Baked. He was kind enough to take a uh, like a Google Earth photo, a recent one at that, uh, of, of the Star Wars land construction. And what he's done is kind of amazing. He's... <clears throat> He's dropped what we know about Star Wars Land, you know, into you know uh, as a as a layer on top of that Google Earth photo, and then and he's he's filled in a lot of the blanks, a lot of the things that that, that we talk about, <clears throat> you know, every week when when we do these updates from the Mickey and Friends parking structure, uh, and where this is different from others is that he's also included a lot of little nuances that. That you know, like the the image that Mice Chat did just shows you the buildings. It doesn't show you anything else. So, uh, let's actually, you know, let's let's take a quick look at this image and see if we can't highlight some of the cool features that Robert has included on here. We'll start with here we are, Mickey and Friends parking uh, parking structure at the very lower left. That's where we filmed from. They're right there. Hi guys, fresh baked and stuff. Um, there's me with my camera uh, shooting out towards that direction. And you can see from where we shoot. Uh, you know, our, our line of sight is 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 sort of focused or directed uh, up towards the Toontown in the Toontown direction in a vertical direction from that spot. So the angle for from this overhead photo is is a little more. Mm, I don't know. It's it, it, it does it, it's kind of tilted on its axis a little bit, which I think it it actually helps when. Because the other images that we have, you know, the other mock-ups or whatever, are shot from the POV of, let's say, from 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 Frontierland, or even from the hub or something like that. You know, from that direction. So it it's hard <coughs> it's hard to place what we're looking at and compare it to what we've seen in concept art. So again, this is really helpful what we're what we're seeing here. And uh, so for starters. Uh, He's got the, the you know the, the the show buildings there. Uh, you got Star Wars Battle Escape, uh, and then you've got right above that on the other side of the maintenance road there is the Millennium Falcon attraction, and then future expansion. Now he's calling that Mount Spielberg there. I kind of think it's reversed actually, uh, but maybe because my eyes are always tricking me. But I, I feel like the I feel like Mount Spielberg is um, the in the you know in the foreground there closer to the that maintenance road but i could be wrong because <laughs> i get this stuff wrong a lot um and so th that kind of gives you it, he's it looks like he's drawn i don't know where he's getting these dimensions from but uh, that looks you know realistic to me uh but you can see how big battle escape is it is taking up a f almost the entire you know area two as we call it it's, it's taking up almost that entire section as a matter of fact let's drop in a photo at this point uh, that I took. This is a screen grab from the very last uh, uh, trip that we did on Saturday. And I would say that almost everything that you see that is not outside of that maintenance road, you can see that maintenance road's kind of so, sort of bisecting the image. Uh, and then Mount Spielberg on the top half. Everything, you know, in front of Mount Spielberg or in front of that maintenance road. And I'd say to the left of those green conduit. Uh, tube things or whatever that's battle escape almost that entire area so it's that it's the pool and so much more here's a closer version of that so just almost all of that I mean some of it is backstage it's not actual attraction or you know areas that, that the guests can see but it's still part of that um, and that so I'm not sure I'm really curious to know why they keep digging that hole deeper and deeper <laughs> as it relates to to, uh, to the Battle Escape attraction. All right, so going back to our, our key image, the green areas, you can see up there next to the future expansion, and as you buff, uh, buffer uh, Frontierland, and then to the right of the Battle Escape attraction, where, it's, it, where the text Star Wars Battle Escape Q and X-Wings is, that is, that's like landscaping or probably backstage or something to that effect. It's not... It, it, in either case, they're not areas that are going to be accessible to the public. Uh, you can see it, but you probably cannot, you know, do anything with it or not travel through it. Uh, and you'll notice, one of the things that I noticed anyway, is how deep those green areas are over here by fa uh, Fantasyland as it as it, it approaches the Fantasyland Theater, uh, Fantasyland proper, and also over here on Frontierland, uh, where it's 
you know, you, you see hardly any green as you as you go around the river, and then you do see some down at the bottom again by the you know the the Battle Escape attraction. Uh, the reason for that is that those that those that's your sound barrier. They're doing all that. They're putting a very thick layer between Star Wars Land and the rest of the park to to insulate it from you know sound and visual. So that. When, when we look at when we look at let's say an, another aerial view and we say oh my gosh that's you know so enormous of a space for for Star Wars land that's impressive uh, you know you, you need to recognize that a lot of that is not going to be you know guest areas I, I I fall into this mistake all the time whenever I see an overhead shot I'm like that's a if you if you, I don't know if you saw the shot of the guy who flew his airplane over it or near it and you can see so much dirt. It, it is literally about that space that they're working on now that's being developed is about, I would say, at least one-fifth of the entire park. What that means is at, 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 if there's seven or eight lands, then it's the size of basically two of them <laughs> put together. That's, 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 that's the comparison that one can make. It's the size of two lands put together. But, like I said, a lot of that is backstage and... Uh, uh, you know, landscaped areas that aren't really, you know, negotiable by guests, um, and, and it's not so deep around around the um, around front as you approach the river because the, those two are right next to each other. They kind of share space. They share similar space because the space for Frontierland and the landscaping that, that is being used for Frontierland is very similar to that being used for for Star Wars Land. Now here's something that's kind of cool about this image is that he's included. Now I don't know what, uh, how accurate these are. We didn't really talk about it, and I, I hope they are accurate because it's kind of neat. But those white, that uh, you know, those white, uh, they they look like pass. Well, that's what they are really are pass. The areas that look like they, they he's erased the color basically from from the, the ground are are pass. Uh, let's start at the top. This one that starts in front or in Fantasyland, that's that's a that's a pedestrian path, that's a guest path that's going to travel under the Disneyland Railroad, which is the red line, by the way. That's pretty obvious, of course. But <laughs> uh, and then where where the path you can see, there's kind of like a it's it's been you know again erased again. There's a there's a cleared out part of that white path where it's it's normal color. That's the bridge and the tunnel. Uh, that's where guests will be coming out of Fantasyland and into Star Wars Land, and then it comes out into Star Wars Land proper. Right next to that is the the, the path and the tunnel coming from Frontierland, and you can see again there's a there's a slice taken out of it, and that's that's the tunnel, that's the entrance and exit of the tunnel, those two those two areas, I think, uh, or something like that. Now we have a photo. Let's compare that to what we see on, uh, you know, as we look at a live a live look. At the current progress, uh, to the left of this image, you can see that's the the the, the Fantasyland tunnel right there, and to the right, it's it's faced in the opposite direction. It's catty corner, or not catty corner, but uh, perpendicular almost to the Fantasyland uh, path. So you can't you can't really see it as easily. But you know, we talked about this. Ian and I did. Uh, uh, you know, you can kind of see that dark area there. That's that's the that's the exit of the tunnel. So those. That's how it looks, you know, overhead. And then let's take a look at this, 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 uh, the the white path over here by the hungry bear. That's an interesting, that's an interesting little development. I, I I've been I have been hard hard time getting my head around the idea of there being a path that runs parallel to the hungry bear along, you know, with the river on the right and the hungry bear on the left. But that does appear to be what he's suggesting here. That white path is going to follow along the side of the hungry bear. Uh, and then turn left as it passes the Hungry Bear under the under the uh, Disneyland Railroad. I wonder how much of that is, or if any of that, no, none of that is in a tunnel. That's all going to be. Are they going to go under the train? Like, is the train? Are we going to be able to see the train as we pass under it? That's interesting. I'd like to find out more about that intersection. Let's move on to the river. The river's blue, obviously. <laughs> the, the 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 new river path has been marked in blue. Now, the only reason why I want to talk about this or why I want to make note of the new river path is that you can see that the river hugs the island, the tree line, very closely, but it doesn't. It moves around the tree line where there's, there's a dirt area, and I believe that's the fort. It's going around the fort right here, uh, 
and, that, and it, so there's some undeveloped areas that it's gonna, I, I'm pretty sure that's the fort. If you, again, let's take a look and see if we can spot it. Yeah, okay, that's a good photo there. So it's going around that fort. So I, I wonder, you know, I, I want that to be like a viewing area. Does, d d I wonder if this is gonna be, first of all, are they gonna put a bunch of trees there? I sure hope so. And secondly, are they going to, you know, develop it for guest use? That That's a, that's a fascinating point of this because to to me, I keep wanting I keep wanting the river when I look at it from the Mickey and Friends parking structure. I keep wanting the river to follow the trees, right? Instead of following the you know this undeveloped area of dirt like it is in this photo. So that's promising. That means we get that's a that's a bigger island than than my eyes are letting me see when we're at the Mickey and Friends parking structure. Uh, so we mentioned the Fantasmic storage right here. You can see it's kind of a a long, slender, rectangular shape. Uh, that little blue bit that's on the other side of the Disneyland Railroad, that small little sliver right there, that's where the that's where the Fantasmic boats will enter the storage and then turn right and, and go into the actual storage building. This photo will help you kind of imagine that scenario as well. Uh, we talked about this uh, uh, when we did the trip report, the Star Wars Land update this last Saturday, which you should have already seen. Uh, but that that that's that long slender building right here and then that's the entrance right there that little you know for the that little blue section of water the boats are going to come in here and then turn right and park in that big building right there yeah so that's pretty neat that we can see we can start to kind of see that that taking shape there as well the fantastic storage building and that, that's that's also i should add where the where the where the disneyland railroad is crossing over that blue uh you know the the the, uh, the river that's where the trestle should be and then lastly, the last thing I want to talk about is uh, sort of the future of this area. We got the future expansions portion back here uh, set aside. It looks like it's all going to be behind the, the pre-show and queue buildings. I wonder, actually, now that I'm looking at this, how do they, how are they, when they, if they do ever expand there, how do they access that area? Are they going to build something around what's currently that, that green, you know, uh, that green zone right there? I wonder. Now, but the reason why I want to talk about this, never mind that part, is th this photo and the way he's got this set up suggests to me that the Fantasyland Theater, making the magical map, and the Fantasyland Theater are safe. Because I don't see, they would have to undo so much work that they're going to do to develop this buffer. And not to mention the fact that they'd have to install more buffer and new buffer if they, if they were to expand Star Wars Land into Fantasyland Theater. You couldn't, there's not enough space. Take a look, look at this between Fantasyland Theater. Let's say that's the area that becomes Star Wars Land. If that area is co-opted by, by Star Wars Land, you've only got a small little sliver there to separate it from Casey Jr., which is on the other side of those trees. That's Casey Jr. right there. There's not enough space to create a, to insulate Star Wars Land from, the, from Fantasyland. Uh, so you, you're, I, 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 Fantasyland Theater and Mickey and the Magical Map are safe. I can't say the same for Toontown, although it is my belief that Star Wars Land will not creep into Toontown, but rather Fantasyland will creep into Toontown. Uh, we, we talked about that once before, about uh, Fantasyland expanding, you know, a Frozen attraction being built or something to that effect and taking over part of Toontown, and Toontown either being decreased in size or removed completely and then moving some of that stuff over to uh, the Hollywood backlot area or whatever whatever development they do uh, with that expansion for the, at DCA. So, uh, so there you go guys um, really neat uh, a really neat uh, overhead shot provided by Robert Holtz. Thank you very much Robert for uh, your, the time that you spent making this it's really detailed it's really high quality. And I really appreciate the uh, fresh baked at the bottom there. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you very much for this. And, and hopefully, because uh, this helped me a lot, and hopefully, you know, it's, it's, it helps to, you know, spur our imaginations on the how this is going to look. We're now into week, I don't know, 40 of this process, 40 something. I don't even know how many it is. Um, and, you know, we're, we're starting to see some, we're starting to see some progress and, and, and seeing some, uh, you know, we can actually see the future almost. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Fresh bite. We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out our Star Wars Land updates from the Knothole Gang or maybe our Secrets and History videos. 
or you can just watch all of our weekly trip reports and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh daily. And don't forget, you can support Fresh Bake by joining our Patreon campaign or by buying a Fresh Bake t-shirt. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Fresh Bake!